I was born nine years after the end of World War II. And I grew up in a generation that was, fig, you know, with my parents who were fixated on that, um, on, you know, what happened. And my father, you know, at that time, the, you know, the kind of the, the resolution in the minds of most Americans and I think people around the world is that there was, there had been something wrong with the German people that, you know, the Germans had been particularly susceptible to this kind of uh, demagoguery and to following a powerful leader and um, and to industrializing cruelty and 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 uh, and murder. And my father always differed with that. My father said, "This is not a German problem. This can happen to all of us. We're all just inches away from barbarity. And the thing that keeps us safe in this country are the institutions of our democracy, our constitution." It's not our nature. You know, our nature has to uh, has to be restrained, and it and that comes through self restraint. But it also, you know, the beauty of our country is that we develop, we devise these institutions that are designed to allow us to flourish, uh, but at the same time, uh, not to give, give us enough freedom to flourish, but also create enough order to keep us from collapsing into barbarity. So, um, you know, one of the other things that my father talked about from when I was little, you know, he would ask us this question, if you, if you were the family and Anne Frank came to your door and asked you to hide her, would you be one of the people who hit her at risk to your own life? Or would you be one of the people who, who turned her in? And of course, we would all say, well, of course, we would hide Anne Frank and take the risk. Um, but, you know, that's been something, uh, kind of a lesson, a challenge that has been, uh, that has always been near the forefront of my mind, that if a totalitarian system ever occurs in the United States, which my father thought was quite possible, he, he was conscious about how fragile democracy actually is, um, that would I be one of the ones who would resist the totalitarianism, or would I be one of the people who, who went along with it? Would I be one of the people who was at the train station in, you know, Krakow, or, uh, or, um, or, you know, even Berlin, and saw people being shipped off to camps and just put my head down and pretend I didn't see it because talking about it would be uh, destructive to my career and maybe my freedom and even my life. Um, so, you know, that has been a challenge that my father gave to me and all of my brothers and sisters. And it's something that uh, I've never forgotten. A lot of us would like to believe we would uh, resist in that situation, but the reality is most of us wouldn't. And that's a good thing to think about that uh, human nature is such that we're selfish, even when there's an atrocity going on all around us. And we also, you know, we have the capacity to deceive ourselves. And all of us tend to kind of judge ourselves by our intentions and our actions. <laughs>